हेलो एवरीवन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यूर हैविंग अ ग्रेट टाइम एंड नाउ लेट्स क्विकली टॉक अबाउट द एटीन ऑफ जनवरी लीड कोड चैलेंज द क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव इन टुडे इज कैन प्लेस फ्लार हेयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिविन अ लॉन्ग फ्लार बेड इन विच एट सम पोजिशन फ्लार्स आर प्लांटेड एंड एट अदर पोजिशन द प्लॉट्स आर लाइंग वेकेंट वॉट वी नीड टू डू वी आर ऑल्सो गिविन एन इंटेजर एन वी नीड टू टेल वेदर वी कैन प्लांट एन न्यू फ्लार्स अलॉन्ग विद दिस फ्लार बेड और नॉट also there's a constraint specified in the question and as per the constraint new flowers cannot be planted in adjacent plots so let's try and understand it by a very simple example here the flower bed configuration that is given to us is is 1001 and the number of newly planted flowers is 1 again so where can we plant this new plant it can be planted in the middle which is this position and if we plant it over here then only the constraint will be satisfied and it's a valid configuration therefore we need to need to return to true in case we plant it over here it becomes invalid and it can't be planted similarly is the case with this one so there is only one valid configuration which is planting the new plant in the middle let's talk about a second example here the value of n is specified as 2 that means the question is asking us to plant two new flowers along with this flower bed however we can see that there is only one valid position as a result of which two flowers can't be planted therefore we need to return false now let's quickly walk through the presentation that i have created for this this is a fairly simple question and i hope most of you are able to solve this question by themselves in case you are not don't worry i'm there for you and let's quickly try and understand it by the ppt that i have created can place flowers lead code 6 or 5 it's an easy level question on lead code and i totally feel the same so let's try and understand it by a slightly different example let's take the case where the flower bed configuration is slightly longer so that you get a good hold of the concept the elements are as follows 1 000 100 and the number of plants that are we that we are targeting happens to be 3 so the question says you need to plant three new plants along with this flower bed so let's start the iteration what do we see we see a 1 it's already booked let's skip it let's proceed ahead next we see is 0 now as per the constraint where do we need to look at we need to look at the previous position and the next position since the previous position is already occupied by a flower you can't make a new insertion at this position you have to skip it let's proceed ahead next we see is again a 0 and can we plant a new plant uh, on this particular position the answer is yes why you'll go and check the previous position you'll go and check the next position both are lying vacant therefore a new insertion can be made here so let's update it to 1 this gets updated to 1 and this gets reduced to 2 now we want to make two more new insertions since we have already made one let's proceed ahead next we see is again 0 and can we make a new insertion at this particular position let's check the previous one let's say the next one both are occupied can't do it next is 1 it's it's already occupied can't do it let's proceed ahead next is 0 uh, let's check the previous position let's check the next position the previous one is occupied the insertion can't be made here let's proceed ahead let's check the previous position let's check the next position let's make a new insertion here it's a valid position the n count get reduced further it it gets updated to 1 let's proceed ahead again we see a 0 uh the previous position is occupied and uh, for the case where we have already crossed the limit we can consider it as a happy case uh, the next position is valid however the previous one is occupied therefore we can't make an insertion in the end we need to check the value of n the value of n still holds a value greater than 0 that means we fail to make all the new insertions that were intended in the question therefore in such case we need to return false had we received a value 0 th- in that case we would have returned true now let's quickly walk through the coding section and let's conclude the coding part as well the time complexity of this approach is order of n and we are not using any extra space to iterate through the the question so let's get started with the coding part as well here i start the iteration starting from i equals to 0 up till the length of the flower bed and i have taken a counter that says n happens to be greater than 0 till the time so what do i check i check if my current value at the ith index happens to be 
I go and check the next value, the next adjoining flower bed value, the previous adjoining flower bed value, and if both of them turns out to be zero, that means I identified a new insertion position. I made the insertion and reduced the value of n. Once I'm done with this, I go and check whether uh, the value of n turns out to be equal to zero. If it does, then I return true. Otherwise, I need to return false. So let's try this out. Accepted one millisecond, 92% faster. It's pretty good. The time complexity is order of n. Similarly, the space complexity is constant space. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.